Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS online video tutorial series. My name is Sean, and uh, today we're going to look at a new feature, and we're going to talk about a uh, contest. Uh, we're holding a contest for a new design for the PSD to CSS online website. Um, the current PSD to, PSD to CSS online website is pretty old and tired, and um, I'm going to have all of you guys, my, my faithful uh, designers and uh, customers, to uh, I'm going to ask you to design a new site. And the winner will get a year of uh, all the features to PSD to CSS online for free. Um, you'll also get to, uh, and I ask you to uh, put some advertising for yourself into the site. I won't be selling any other advertising on the site, so it'll just be... Uh, you will, you know, de designate yourself as the designer, as the winning designer for the uh, PSD to CSS Online contest. Um, certainly, put your icon and uh, you know some contact information, whatever you'd like. Um, I don't have any rules about how big your your part is on that site, on the page, on the design. Uh, but of course, if you make it too big, and then I may not, it may not win. <laughs> so, uh, but I'd like you to, to uh, take some credit for uh, for being the designer. So, so design, make your design. Uh, the contest rules will be posted shortly. Um, the, the, there's a first prize winner who gets a year of PSD to CSS Online for free. Uh, the second and third place winners get two months for free. And I'll also post their designs kind of in a gallery. Um, but, uh, but anyways, that's the contest. All the, all the uh, rules will be posted shortly. Um, but this is, uh, the, this is the feature that I wrote uh, to, uh, for you to use in that design. I'd like you to use, you know, a lot of PSD to CSS online features in the contest, your contest submission. Um, but this one for sure, you can choose whichever other ones you want to use. Um, this is of course, uh, this looks like a slider, you can see. Um, just like anything else in PSD to CSS online, you uh, you just draw the uh, what you want it to look like in Photoshop. In this case, you just draw these different panes and name the layers, right? You name the layer with underscore uh, slider pane put them all inside an underscore slider container layer and uh, and that's pretty much it you just draw them and uh, upload the uh, Photoshop file to uh, PSD to CSS online a couple seconds couple minutes later uh, it downloads all of the code all of the HTML all the CSS all the JavaScript that is written um, this is uh, you don't have to go find the JavaScript you don't have to go find a plugin you don't have to write anything yourself um, we take care of it all for you so this is actually a um, a plug-in from the flowplayer.org uh, people. Um, so there's lots of options once it is in installed and running. You can go if you do want to go in and tweak the code. You certainly can and make it do lots of new things. So let's see how we make this one work. Um, so here's a Photoshop design for this particular page we were just looking at. Um, as you can see, there are uh, we have the arrow buttons, and we have this big arrow, this big background uh, section here that's gray. That is our underscore slide container. It will be actually. It will actually be. Uh, it will not show up in the design as you as you saw. Uh, and then the way to make it work is uh, you build these these other uh, the, the panes underscore slide pane. Uh, in this case, uh, it's it's exactly the same gray box, and I have it underscore empty so that you don't see that gray box. You can put whatever PSD to CSS online features you want inside the slider pane. Uh, however, be aware that uh, some of them don't work very well inside a slider pane, uh, like underscore menu, for example. And I even think uh, the link over will have a tendency to get uh, confused by all the JavaScript that the the uh, slider needs and and uh, implements um, between that and the, how the menu works. So, uh, but you can certainly put text and images. Uh, even a video will work in a slider pane. Slider pane. Um, so yeah. So the uh, I'll give you another hint too. Um, the slide container and the slide pane, uh, it's a really good idea to make those exactly the same size. You can see these these two are actually just a copy of each other, these two layers. Um, so make all the slide panes the same exact size and position as the slide container. Just make copies of all of them and then start putting things inside your slide pane and uh, and you'll and things will work much better. Um, you can make slide panes that are smaller and they will all display in line uh, inside the slide container, uh, but uh, but then it gets tricky because if if the, uh, you know if if uh, exactly four of them don't fit in in your container, then you'll have kind of the edge of one sticking out here, and 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 it can get kind of it's it's tougher to make it look right. Um, I I just like the effect that you get when you make uh, uh, 
when you make the slide panes exactly the same size as the container, same size as the container. So uh, let's uh, let's watch this work. So this is our design. Um, we'll save it. We will go to PSD to CSS Online and upload the Photoshop file that we just saved, and it will start converting it. So again. I'm not sure why I don't see. Uh, there we go. Um, so my, where's my layers? There we go. So um, oh, that's why. Um, so uh, so yeah. So we have uh, some content. I'll go over some of the other PSD to CSS online features that are in this particular design. And I don't use a whole lot of them right here. We've got some underscore text. That's this big gray box that will be replaced with actual HTML text. I'll put some example text in there, and you can change that later. Um, you can see in my example site, uh, after I converted this to, at PSD to CSS Online, I did go into the index.html file and just add this text. And uh, I think I made a little CSS. I wrote some CSS, too, to make the links a different color. I think that's about it. Maybe maybe the font size I changed, too. But... Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. After the after it was converted, um, I just changed the text and uh, and that's it. This is this is the the page that was generated. Um, we also have uh, one of the underscore underscore center two layers. It's just big, fills the background. Uh, center sometimes con confuses people. I'll mention it quick while we're waiting for this to complete. Um, but I made it underscore empty too, so that just makes a uh, a big empty div. But underscore center two. Uh, causes uh, some CSS to be written that that makes this a, a centered web page and everything inside center two, you can see that's a great big red red box. So everything is inside it, everything above it and smaller is inside it. So the whole page is centered, um, and you only need one one center uh, layer name for that. Um, so other than that, it's just some art. Uh, oh, the arrows, uh, slide left underscore slide left. Just draw whatever you want for an arrow anything you want call it underscore slide left and it will control the slider uh, underscore slide right and it will control the slider you can put multiple uh, sliders in one page uh, if you want this one is all called under s1 underscore slide right uh, s1 underscore slide left s1 slide paint s1 slide container the s1 means they all kind of go together um, so you could make an s2 you could you could make anything you want and make all these components for, for a whole other slider in the same page the only problem is that uh, the arrows will work on all of all of the uh, sliders on a given page. So, so if you have two of them here and you click the arrow, all of them will slide right by one. Um, when you click on individual ones, it, only that one slider will go. Um, but uh, when you use the arrows, they affect all the sliders on the page. And we could probably hack the JavaScript to get around that, uh, but the flowplayer.org uh, slider, just that's the way it works. Okay, so this is finished. A couple minutes it took. Uh, I think the website's pretty busy this morning. When you're done with, uh, when, when your PSD to CSS Online is finished converting your Photoshop file, they, it gives you two links. One to a, uh, to a page that I actually host, just so you can see right now what it looks like. This is the generated code that we just, was a Photoshop file a moment ago. We uploaded it, and this is what was generated, and it's running, and I host it for you. Here's that text box I mentioned, and, uh, and I put some example text for you. Um, but as you can see, it works. It's a fully functional slider uh, widget, and I didn't have to write a single line of code. I didn't have to do a thing. Um, we can take a look at what it generated. Um, you can see the PSD to CSS Online generates lots of comments. All of this green is comments about what's been generated and why it's working, what layers, what PSD to CSS, uh, what uh, Photoshop layers caused this particular code to be generated, for example. Um, everything's indented. It's very easy to, if you're if you are a developer and you and you do want to poke around in the HTML or, or the JavaScript, um, it's very easy to go in and uh, and pick up where we left off. We've got lots of comments about what's going on and how you can how you can change things from here. Uh, if you if you don't want it to scroll automatically, for example, uh, if you don't want your scroll pane to automatically advance every five seconds and just comment out the next line. So there's instructions about how to change the code to uh, to get other kinds of obvious functionality to work. Um, but uh, but yeah, that was what was generated, and uh, and here is the example page that you can see. So so check it out, play with it, do whatever you want. Uh, 
make a design for the photo, uh, PSD to CSS online contest and uh, submit it. Um, check out the website sometime today, possibly tomorrow. All the all the uh, uh, rules will be posted, and uh, and yeah, so it'll go for about a month. First prize is a year of PSD to CSS Online, and uh, you get to advertise yourself on the front page of PSD to CSS Online. I get tens of thousands of visits a, a month, um, and second and third winners will get uh, will be in the gallery and uh, and get the same kind of benefits, but for about two months of uh, of PSD to CSS Online. So there you go. Thanks.